I bought this Lupo for the sum of £450 with the aim of turning £500 cash into my dream Volkswagen Transporter. And it went a bit like this. I completed a 358 mile road trip to Birmingham from Norwich. We picked up this little Lupo and it did have a fair few little jobs that need sorting out. The number plates were tatty and needed changing. The interior was grubby and needed cleaning. The headlights were clouded in the Scottish sky. The wheels had hit every curb in Birmingham. The bumper was bumped and then, well, out of all else, this then happened. Despite all else, it didn't stop us from pulling out all the stops and going all out on this little Lupo. The engine is the next part of the Lupo that we need to tackle. Now an engine is a funny part on a car. In a car sale, everyone will always look under the bonnet. Whether they know what cars are, whether they know what to look for, or they're just doing it so they look like they're the part. A clean engine bay will go a long way. People who know cars will know that the clean engine bay has been looked after and people who don't know cars will see a clean engine bay and think it's been looked after. Now I need to get this thing cleaned because this is going to maximise profit and help us to encourage a sale when it comes to selling this thing. Now the engine's looking fresh, we can try and repeat the same thing on the outside of the car, restoring some gloss to the paintwork and making the outside look fresh. We need to crack on, get it washed, decontaminated and potentially start machine polishing, depending on the weather. But at the minute, it's looking a bit gloomy and it is forecast to rain. This little Lupo is going absolutely swimmingly. We're making progress, the little Lupo is now in the garage, the sun's out and it's time to crack on with getting this thing shiny. In a minute I'm going to turn around and the car is going to be masked up, ready to be polished. Oh, ho! will you look at that? I just said it and it happened. If only polishing it worked like that. The polisher I'm going to be using is the Auto Finesse MPX. Small and mighty, but has a real kick to get the job done and get the desired results. Also comes with a little three inch head 
for all the little small areas around the grills, around the bumpers, and just the intricate areas that the five inch head won't get on. So, without further ado, let's crack on and do some polishing. Oh, sorry, don't mind me, I'm just having a little bit of peace and quiet. After being stuck behind the machine polish for probably about eight hours straight, my ears are ringing, my hands are cold, numb, it feel a bit funny as well from the vibration going through them all day, but we're making steady progress. Steady, but definitely progress. The bonnet is polished, the bumper is polished, the both wings, rear tailgate, both rear tail lights are polished. Step one, two, and three for a virtual 90% paint correction. They're looking really good, but I'm gonna have to go in and get myself a cup of tea. It's now 10 past five. Gonna get some warmth back in the bones, and then I'm probably gonna come back out here, get the bumper done, make a start on the roof and then by then I'll probably call it quits. I have got work in the morning but I will try and get as much done of this tonight as I can. I would also like to get back indoors and get some editing done for this video. Besides looking awful, these yellow clowny headlights are actually an MOT failure. But we don't worry about that because we're going to get them looking tip top now. I'm going to cut a few corners, but we're going to get the same results nonetheless. So let's talk and more action.
So bear with me. This isn't my first rodeo. I've done many of these before. We're going to tape up around the headlight to protect the paint around it as we are going to use some abrasive and we don't want to risk scuffing up the paint as if we do this on the edge it can be awkward to try and polish out. As we all know there is less paint on an edge than there is on a flat painted surface and we don't want to burn through any paint. We can use a Autos Nest Pro bottle with some fairy liquid and water to begin wet flat in the headlight using 2000 grit to remove that UV protectant that comes from the factory making sure we've got a uniform flat surface. Once that's done and we're happy with that, we can wipe away the excess and begin polishing. Using Re Revitalize Step 1 with an orange pad, we can get rid of the 2000 marks, compounding the headlight back to reveal a shinier finish, but not yet complete. We can then move on to the Revitalize Step 2, the yellow pad and yellow compound. Further polishing the marks left from the sanding and the compounding to put a little bit more shine back in the headlight. We can then move on to the third and final step then, revitalize number three with a pink pad and pink polish. This is going to restore the gloss back into the headlight. As you can see, we're left with a very crystal clear and perfect looking headlight, which is going to pass an MOT and allow us to get maximum return for this car when we sell it on down the road. The little Lupo is starting to come along. Look at these headlights, they look so good and most importantly they're now going to pass an MOT which is what is most important but this thing is looking really really fresh, I'm really pleased with it but we still have plenty of work to do, we better crack on with that interior. With the exterior of the Clupo looking tip top it's now time to address the interior because these seats are really letting it down. Time is really ticking for this little Lupo. We need to get this thing sold sooner rather than later. I've just been getting the interior cleaned up, gone round all the plastics for the brush and total scrubbing, wiping, scrubbing, wiping and repeat. And we've also, as you've seen, got the seats wet back. They're now drying, got the car running with a heater on and a dehumidifier in the car to try and get rid of that moisture. We're gonna go and get some touch up paint touch up all the areas of the car that needs touching up and then when the interior is dried we're going to get one final hoover, dress all the plastics, make it look nice, we need to wash the car, get the car washed, get a coat of wax on it, dress the tyres and take some lovely pictures of it so we can get it listed for sale. We're in the car, we're now off to see a good friend of mine, Jamie. He owns a paint shop, he's mixed some paint up for us and he only wants some more FMS air fresheners in payment for the touch-up paint, so what a guy.
Oh. It's probably been a little over a week, maybe two weeks, since we picked this thing up, but I can happily say this thing is now done, ready to be sold. We just need to get some pictures listed on the internet. I can't believe it. I put the Lupo up for sale about half an hour ago on Facebook. I've had about 10 messages and someone is on the way coming to view the car.